everyone. Welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for this crochet teardrop earring. Now, this is a very simple, easy and beginner friendly pattern. And as you can see, you can play around with the colors. You can make this in one single color or you can use two different colors to make the earrings. Uh, you can also experiment with the uh, thickness of the yarn. So depending on the weight or the thickness, you can make a big or small sized earring. Now coming to the materials here. Uh, for these two here, I have used a DK weight yarn or a light worsted weight cotton yarn. You can use acrylic, but I feel that if you use cotton, it will be much more stiffer. So that's why I have used a cotton yarn. Uh, but when it comes to hook, try to use a smaller hook size than the recommended one because you want your stitches to be tight um, so as to make your um, earring a little bit stiffer. So usually for this DK weight I use a 4 mm but for this one here I have used a size D or a 3.25 mm crochet hook. Now this small one here this has been made with a weight 2 yarn uh, a slightly thinner than the DK weight and with that I have used this size C or 2.75 mm crochet hook so depending on the yarn that you use you can choose your hook but try to use a smaller hook size uh, than the recommended one now apart from that you would require a pair of scissors a yarn needle and then you will require something of this sort a jump ring and this kind of a hook so these are the supplies that you would require now if you're ready we can get started but before that a small request if at any point in the video you like what you see please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you're looking for a more such simple quick beginner friendly pattern i do have quite a few on my channel so i have put a playlist link in the description box if you're interested do check that up so let's just get started with the pattern so we'll start our pattern with a magic circle so to make a magic circle you take your yarn loop it around your finger like an x once you have that you can take this loop out now take your hook pass your hook through this loop and then pull your working yarn through like this so this here is your magic circle now if you want some more help with the magic circle you can click on the link that is coming up here i have a very detailed tutorial on how to do the magic circle okay so here we have our magic circle We'll start round one by making two chain stitch, chain two, one and two. And now we will put 15 double crochet into the magic circle. So we are going to put half, uh, sorry, double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have three loops, yarn over, pull to the first two loops, yarn over, pull to the next two loops. So this here is my first double crochet. Like that, I'm going to make a total of 15 double crochet into the magic circle. So this is my two. I'll place my third double crochet. Like this, I'll make a total of 15 double crochet into the magic circle. So round one should have chain two and 15 double crochets. So I'll complete making 15 double crochets. And I'll join you at the end of round one. So here I have completed making my 15 double crochet and I also have a chain 2. Now in order to finish off this round, I'm going to slip stitch into the very first double crochet. I have my chain 2 here. I'm going to ignore that. So this chain 2 here will not be treated as any stitch. I'm just going to go into my very first double crochet and then slip stitch to join. So that will finish off round 1. You can just pull on this end to completely close off your magic circle okay so that finishes round one now if you are planning to make this into two colors you can cut your yarn here and start with the next color i'm just going to proceed with the same color so you can cut your yarn here and join with the new color and start with chain one okay and then what we'll do is in the very first stitch in the same stitch here i'm going to put two single crochets so this here is one okay and in the same stitch i'll put another one so i have got two single crochets here in the next stitch again i'm going to put two single crochets so one and two all right so here again i have two single crochet in the next stitch i'm going to put 
two half double crochet so for a half double crochet yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over pull through all the three loops so this is my first half double crochet i'll make one more half double crochet in the same stitch in the next stitch also put two half double crochet so here again i'm going to put two half double crochet one and two next what we'll do is in the next three stitches put two double crochet each okay so we'll make two double crochet so this here is one and in the same stitch another double crochet so this is my first set in the second set also i'm going to put two double crochet so one and two so that completes my next set and this here will be my third set so in the next stitch also put two double crochet so we have put in three stitches two double crochet each all right now this is one half of your earring we have reached the center so in the center we are going to put a triple crochet so for a triple crochet you have to yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop you will have four loops yarn over pull to the first two yarn over pull to the next two stitches yarn over pull to the last two okay so this is a triple crochet after this make chain two one two and again we are going to put a triple crochet and that too in the same stitch so in the very same stitch i'm going to put a triple crochet so yarn over two times insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull to the first two then the next two and then the last two so this here is a triple crochet now we are going to do the exact same thing in the reverse order so we'll do this here so what we'll do is in the next three stitches put two double crochet each so in the stitch put two double crochet one and in the same stitch another one so this is the first set in the next set also put two double crochets one and two all right and one more set so in the third set in the third stitch also put two double crochet each one and two so that is completed in the next two stitches put two half double crochet each so this is my first half double crochet and in the same stitch the second half double crochet so this is two half double crochet in the next stitch also put two half double crochet one and two all right we have last two stitches left in these two stitches also put two single crochet each so in the last two stitches we are going to put two single crochet each one and two okay in the last stitch again i'm going to put two single crochet one and two that's it it's done it's completed our earring is completed now if you want you can slip stitch to join but i'll show you much more cleaner way to finish off this uh, completely so i'm just going to cut my yarn here i'm not going to slip stitch instead i'm just going to pull my yarn out here all right i'll just close this up completely now with a yarn needle i'm going to do the invisible finish okay so i just take my yarn needle first so here i have attached my yarn needle and in order to finish this off if you see here this here is our chain one and this is the first single crochet of this round so i'm going to ignore the chain one and the first single crochet i'm going to take my yarn needle through the second single crochet both the front and the back loop the v that you see i'm going to take my yarn needle through there okay like this i bring it to the front and through this stitch here the very last stitch through the back loop only i'm going to take my yarn needle and just pull so if you see when you pull it it forms a nice stitch here it is quite even so just pull it so that it matches the other stitches and then you can hide your yarn so that will create a much more cleaner finish than slip stitching so because this is a piece that just is very tiny and every small thing just shows so if you see it has a much cleaner finish than your slip stitch i'm just going to hide in through a couple of stitches and then cut my yarn here you can also hide in all the magic circle 
yarn also it's not required to hide in this end because it's already been weaved in but if you feel that feel the need to hide in please just hide it in and you can cut your yarn so that's it it's almost done and you can cut your yarn I'll just hide in this it's really not required but just in case so here I have hidden in all the loose ends and now we'll join the hook here so for that I have got a jump ring and this kind of a hook here uh, if you want you can use a plier to open this but I have used my fingers to just open the jump ring and I'm going to attach the jump ring through the chain to space like this I will take this hook put it through this and with the fingers I just try to close it okay just push it if you have the plier it would be much easier but this should work here I have attached the hook and the earrings is ready isn't it a really quick and simple project to do so sorry it's the back side this here is your front side so yeah this is ready you can just play around with the colors you can use two colors or just one colors you can experiment with different weight of the yarn thickness so depending on the thickness of the yarn you can get a smaller or big size earring so yeah that was the quick simple easy tutorial to make this earring i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if at all you are making one of the earrings please do tag me i'll love to see what you have made the colors that you have chosen so i'll leave all my social media handle links in the description box so if you are making one please tag me on your pictures so yeah that's it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching